Hi everyone, I hope you're well. So as the title suggested, I'm back with a what's in my bag video. Before I get into it, I have to say that I had to keep myself from cleaning my bag for two weeks so I can do this video. If not, you would have seen nothing in it because usually every night or every two nights when I get home, I'm going to go through my bag, remove all the lipsticks because I do tend to harvest quite a few and put everything back into my make makeup collection, clean the receipts and so on. But for the last two weeks, I did not touch my bag and I have to admit it was really, really hard. So yeah, let's get now straight into the video. This is the bag I'm carrying at the moment and it's a mango bag. It's I don't know, it was 19.99 in the sales and it's one of these like you can do this to make it bigger. Uh, it has a zipper in the front and a long strap and I love it to bits. I used to carry another mango one to work that you guys seen in my first ever work haul and I changed to this one because I tend, as you will see, to fill my bag to the rim and that one was extremely extremely heavy so I decided to change and switch to this one right so let's get straight into my bag and the first thing I see it's my wallet my wallet was from Primark and it was around five pounds I believe it's quite messy in there as well I have a lot of like cards as you can see a lot of like points cards receipts and nothing really interesting to be honest this is my wallet the next thing I see is this, and usually in this, there, you know, it's just a little white pouch. And usually in this one, I have quite a lot of, you know, like my makeup and my knee beads. And usually I don't have anything else in my bag than my wallet, this and an agenda. But you will see now it's spread around the bag. So let's see what's in this one. First, we have one of these. You guys know what's in here, so no need to explain. Uh, an empty wrapper <laughs> um then i have this cute little hello kitty tin and i have to say that i love this i'm actually holding some toothpicks oh i need to refill uh, i need to carry toothpicks at all points and this one's really good as they have both a floss and a toothpick um intimate wipes toothbrush Oil absorbing sheets from uh, Boots, a pen, cuticle <laughs> stick, earbuds, a little plaster, some hair accessories. And a little baby eyelash glue. Yes, believe it or not, I have a little baby eyelash glue in my bag. And that's all I had in this little pouch because probably everything else fits in there. I have my work uh, pass. I'm not going to show you guys. I might just show you the picture if you guys want to see, but I'm not going to share any other details. So I have my work pass. Chewing gum. Select receipt. Strep seals, and I have the strawberry ones because I've been really poorly for ages. Uh, napkins. Oh, guys, it's a mess in here. Next thing I have is my planner agenda thingy. I have a pen with it. I have a little pouch in here that I hold some of my receipts and a lot of receipts and stuff. And a really uh, a thing that is really important to me, I carry a picture of my mum with me. Uh, guys, you, you, I just have to show you, this is how my bag looks at the moment. Usually there will be nothing there, but now it's full of crap. Next thing I have is my keys, and I have my little coin purse, my new coin purse. You probably, if you follow me on Instagram, the links are down below. You've probably seen this, so I have the cash in there. A, uh, little hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works. I don't have too much left as you can see I need to buy a new one. I purchased these of eBay as you guys know you can't find Bath and Body Works in the UK. Uh, payslip. Payslip. I do get paid weekly. Happily though I just received my contract. <laughs> so 
so I'm starting on Monday, so I won't receive those pace leaves weekly anymore. As I said, that's a proof that I did not clean my bag for two weeks because I have two pace leaves in there. Um, some little coupons things from Harvester, from Jane Norman, another Jane Norman one. A lot of receipts, carry ons boots, Asta, a dentist appointment that I had. B&Q, Peacocks, God, that, that proves I'm really, really a shopaholic, doesn't it? Um, used wipe. Ibuprofen, chewing gum, sulpidin as I do suffer from headaches. God, I'm already, I already have a pile by me of stuff. I can't believe I carry so much in my bag. No receipt. A little list to buy things more chewing gum extra ice oh no I really want some but it's not nice to chew in your face tic tacs um menthos mint mentos Whew, I actually have a full perfume in it and is the reveal by Calvin Klein and oh my god Guys, I love, love, love this perfume. If you guys didn't check it out, go and give it a sniff. I actually tested it in a magazine and I went next week and purchased it straight away. And I used quite a bit already. I only had it for like two weeks. Um, a bag with a little button. A memory stick from work. Hand cream, EOS, this was from Lumi and I am almost finished it. I can see I only have this a little left. Uh, God, guys, it's a mess in here. Hairband. And now we're going to get into some cosmetic products. I have a eyeliner, precision eyeliner by e.l.f. Uh, Soap and Glory Artery Brow Tint and brownie points this is my favorite i really like it i'm not actually wearing it today because look it's in my bag um elf jumbo lip gloss stick in pink umbrellas a 17 falsified uh hd mascara lip liner from essence in 11 in the nude another uh lip liner from essence and is in 13 transpiring guys i really recommend you guys checking this one out if you don't want to have too many, but you want to keep your lip, uh, you know, your lip gloss or whatever you want to wear, your lipstick from going outside the line, this one is really, really good to keep it in there. Uh, Max Factor Falsified Lash Effect. God, I can't hold them anymore. Look how many things I harvest. Now you guys understand why I do have to clean my bag at all times. And that is because if I don't, my makeup collection will end up in my bag the next thing I have is a lip lacquer by Models Co and it's in Morocco, it's just a little sample. I really have to start putting these in here because there are too many. And two more things in here, I have a, I'm sorry I have some hair in here, it's really gross, I apologise for that. Himalaya, a lip balm, a MAC lipstick in cream cup. I didn't even show you guys what I had in there but yeah. I have quite a few coins, these really need to go, have some coins and where's my holder, so they all need to go in my little wallet in here, anything else after here, it actually has a lot, so the bag itself is now empty but it still has a zip pocket in here and I still have some things in here. Right, so, ooh, what I found in there. I have a pound. One of those things they put in their trolleys when you go shopping. A books coupon for 150 points off. A Nest Cafe 3 in 1. And a nasal stick from Bix. And that's everything that is in my bag, guys. Uh, but I still have the front compartment. Uh, yeah. Right, I'm gonna try and get them one by one. Right, so I have two more lip liners. Wondering when I was filming, before I filmed this video, I put my makeup on where all my lip liners were. Well, in my bag. Uh, another one in Softberry and one in 
wish me a rouse and they look like so uh, YSL lipstick Rouge Volopte number one so here was my nude lipstick god oh, this is worse than I actually thought um, I have a coquette a uh, lime crown lipstick in coquette looks like this is a really gorgeous nude and guys these smell amazing Milani lipstick in nude cream number 26 this is another item from Lumi and I love it to bits I'm so so bummed we don't have Milani in the UK and we're still going strong guys I have another lipstick from Urban Decay in gel bait and this packaging is just gorgeous and yet another nude um, and the last three products in here I have a Vaseline cocoa butter gel, uh, petroleum jelly and the Nivea lip butter in raspberry rose and the last item in my bag is a Pacifica Tuscan blood orange perfume and oh my god guys if you ever go I purchased mine from Holland, Holland and Barrett if you guys go or if you see, oh my god, I'm sorry, these ones in any, any shops, please give it a try. They come in awful different scents and they smell amazing, really good for a handbag size as well. So yeah guys, this was my bag. This was everything that was in my bag. Now this is really, really light. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you liked it in any way, shape or form. I tried to get through it quite fast. I, I don't know if I've done it good or wrong. I never filmed one of these before. If you want to see anything specific that was in my bag and you would like to see it in more detail, please let me know on my Instagram account and I'll definitely take a picture or show it in the next video. Thank you ever so much for watching guys. I hope you have an amazing week and until next time, don't forget to stay beautiful inside and out. Bye guys!